The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and I'm madder than hell today. I have a lot to say. I'm really mad at Republicans, particular one Republican. I'm so mad. Of course, this is the art of politics. My name is Ken Gidge, the best of the Democrats that you can get, and the worst of the Republicans, my friend. Mr. Fiction. Yeah, and Mr. Mr. Fact. Mr. Fact. Well, and you know, we're, we're the only show yeah. of its type. You know, let me tell you something. It's best to be peed on, peed off, and peed on. Yeah, peed on. Yeah, okay, you, you, so you, you notice you, I didn't say the other. Yeah, so, yeah, I was trying uh, to keep it clean. Let's it. talk about this this traitor Democrat. What do you mean? Why are you calling her a traitor? Well, no. she was. About, by the way, uh, there was she, a Democrat who turned to a Republican, and I saw her yesterday. She said she'd be in, and she never showed up today. I'm sure so. she probably got tied up. Maybe she well, was at the state she's house. got my cell phone number, and I don't see anything well, ringing. Yeah. In Nashville, you had a Democrat that seemed to light, just like in Berlin, another Democrat. Uh, both of them switched parties and went Republicans. And I talked to Marilyn, and she said she learned how to spend her own money. She didn't want the government involved. That's not what she said. Huh? No. I, I threw it, that in there. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, what I do. Because you know, I, I figured I'd do this that, like you that, do. That's what I do. I just, no, but she was aggravated with the way the Democrats were going. Well, I... You know, not yeah, happy with the Democrat uh, for, First party. of all, she was here as a Democrat, and, and she was interviewed. I interviewed her. Mm -hmm. And I just said to myself, and I said to other people, I said, if she has, if this lady has a problem, it's, it is that they're not going to give her enough to do. Mm -hmm. She's so freaking smart. She is, and she's active. She's active. Uh, yeah, she's involved. She's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, she went to the Democratic minority and made some proposals or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They did not recognize no. that she could run the whole party. Right, she was pushed aside, and uh, she's a very sharp lady. I, I now, what is she doing something already, right? I don't know what she's doing. I didn't well, they she, I'm sitting and talking to her, Republicans are coming up and asking her, so yeah, they're, they already have her involved. I'm very impressed with her. I mean, I'm glad, I, you know, just like, uh, you know, Robert DeBerz, what a great guy he is from Berlin, Democrat, Yeah. Uh, Vietnam veteran, uh, special intel, a uh, couple of tours. He's, he's gone through some stuff, that guy. Uh, he switched over to the Republicans. Um, uh, I see more and more have done that. Just look at President Trump. All the Democrats have switched over to vote for Trump. Like hell. You don't believe that? No, I don't believe Why that. Are you in denial? No, I, no, I don't believe Why that. Why are no, you I'm still not, no, in no, denial? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won states that uh, well, well, Democrats He won. won states because he was just a nasty person. Oh, you're saying a nasty person. That's, That's right. They call him yeah. Little was, Machio. Was, and Hillary was the real Throw her in jail. Throw her in oh, jail. Oh, well, Hillary Clinton And deplorable. where is his taxes? What was Hillary Clinton? His tax. He said he was going to give. He lied. Where is No Hillary, taxes. Where was Hillary Clinton's speeches to Wall Street banks that Bernie Sanders asked for? Where are those? She, she never turned them Where over. are the taxes? Well, he's still being Where are audited. the taxes? Trump, <laughs> he, you know, he, he was audited last year. 
Trump, it's this year now. Trump is a very honorable man. Yeah, no, he's not. There he is. He's not yeah, honorable. He, everything he said he was going to do, he's not honorable. Doing. Oh, everything really? Everything he said. Really? In fact, he just signed uh, the Veterans Choice Program. Took the date off so all veterans can be covered. Veterans can go out to any doctor, hospital, specialist now. They just signed that bill. And, and by the way, that? there's a Republican bringing in a bill whereby for the first two years, if the, uh, the, the soldier coming in, you know, the lower rank soldiers, if they want the, the, the insurance and if they want the college education after military, they've got to pay $100 a month for two years. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you on that? I am on that. If you read my tweet, you'll see I sent it to the president. He said, this can't happen. This must be stopped. Okay. Good. Read my tweets. All right. And the other thing is. Matter of fact, if you read my tweets, I'm on Twitter. Well, why don't you give me your. You, you, I'm you on cut Twitter. I, I actually infoed you on one of the Twitters about Russia, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to show you the proof there that it was a scam going on, trying to blame Trump. Okay, with the intel that's coming out now? Uh, you, yeah. you no, know, he's, he's, he's dishonest. He's dishonest. He's going to get you. And he, what is Hillary? Hillary he's, a he's saint? Not, excuse me, excuse me. Was Hillary Clinton a saint? E e excuse me. He's president now. You don't understand. He could get a lot away with elections, a lot. He can't anymore. Elections have consequences. He, you're right. He's doing a great Absolutely job. Absolutely consequences. I meet people every day that stop me in the stores or out in restaurants. And you scare the hell they out say, of Al, people, Al. I, I, Trump is doing everything he said. Really? He did. Did you see the three bills he got? Uh, yeah, three, right. Uh, two ex one executive order and two memorandums he right. signed oh, today. Wait a minute. Excuse on me. Taxes. Excuse me. He's, oh, wait a minute. Executive orders. Wasn't he upset at, at, at the president for, for doing so many executive orders? He's done more executive orders okay. than, than, than Obama and, and uh, Bush put together already. Now, Ken, you're a legislator. You know damn well there's rules that are put in place when legislation goes forward. An executive order, just like the governor, sets rules in place because the legislators give them the authority within the bill to set certain parameters in that legislation. Like, so, uh, like for instance, certain taxes, certain re regulations, environmental issues, um, immigration issues. Yeah, let, let, let's talk about. Can't make let, new let, law. let us talk about you an executive order, environmental. Now the coal companies can again put coal dust into streams, water coming down. That's a great executive order. That's oh, good give, for the. That's you good know, for give the. Give it a break, will you? Yeah. Oh, right. some you damn tree huggers. Are yeah, tree huggers. Yeah. yeah. Of you, course, you, there's no. You, you, uh, there's absolutely you, no. You know, some they got so much technology here that cleans up the dust and sucks it in and all this other in those caves. They got more fans and filter systems. You know, some. You're unbelievable. You just want to put people out of work. You want people on the government dole. You That's know, what Democrats you know, want. You know something. You want because you, they you vote Democrat. Al, they become Al, complacent and want money. Coal is going away simply no, it's because it's more expensive no, it's than not. natural gas. Yeah, no, it's it not. is. China, yeah, it is. China is big time on coal and buying American coal. I don't understand where you're getting that. Japan uses coal. Other countries are buying it from us. Where are you getting okay. this? Okay, all right. Okay. Stop your whining, will you? All right. All right. Well, first of all, let's get back to this lady because I, I, she's not here. And uh, I used to do radio. I got to tell you the story. I used to do radio, and uh, I had one of the people who are running for mayor who's supposed to come in, an hour interview, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't show up, so I trashed him. Well, I you said, "Yeah, he's a he's, you can't trash he, her. He because, can't do that because so you, I think she's got you, something going on. You can't on. do this. You can't, well, she, I'm trying to make a point." And, and and the manager came out and said, "You know something? How about if he was in an automobile accident?" Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm not going to trash her for not, not being here. Okay, I, I wouldn't let you do it anyways. Okay, that's right. I wouldn't trash you down but with that either. I just want people to know. If you want to, you want to mention her name? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Marilyn. Um, how do you, McKay? Okay. Yeah. I'm not mentioning her name. She, she's unbelievable. Out of respect, I'm not going to mention her name. I'm going to tell you right now, this lady, I am so honored to have her in the Republican Party. She's a very sharp lady. She, she gets up and goes, want to make things happen. She fights for her constituents in Nashua. She's an asset. Excuse me. She was elected by Democrats. Right. But the bottom line is she fights for everybody. Yeah. She was elected by Democrats. Yeah. Okay. okay. It, my question is, did 
did she get voted in on the Democratic Party because that's the only party that was available? And this happens, to, and know. she got in. I don't know, but I think the Democrats she, would be, the moderate that, Democrats would be impressed with her because she's looking out for your pocketbook. She, oh, please. Unlike you. Please. please. Unlike you. They're yeah, I know, I know. Taxes and fees. All Democrats are awful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, well you guys. We want uh, money for this. We want money for that. All right, we let, need money. I got Oh. The taxpayers, you're going to run soon, out of other people's as money. As soon as we you get through talking about her, we can move on. Well, you're the one that brought I it up. I want to You got your feelings there because she was probably anyway, tied up. Anyway, she went to the Democratic meeting mm -hmm. on Monday night. She voted mm -hmm. in the meeting. When did she switch party? The very next day. Yeah, something must have happened. On Tuesday. What happened? Why she triggered it? it on Tuesday. I don't know. Now, Something happened. Now, now really hold on a second. Up. Now, there are people who leave, and they leave for whatever reason she left for. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is what the Democrats did for her. Now, you voted for her as a Democrat, and she became a Republican. But as she was a Democrat, they asked if anyone, if a Democrat wanted to go to the Hillsborough County Executive Committee, she raises her hand, so they put her in that position as a Democrat. Okay? This are elected officials electing a Democrat to go to the Hillsborough County Executive Committee. You know, you, right? Well, now, you're talking, so, you got me learning so something let, new. Let, let, let me finish. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is going to take an hour. So the majority is Republicans anyway. Right. So she say he does she could stay not in the want to leave when, in fact, is it was the Democrats who were elected put her there. In Republicans. In Republicans. On the county, no, commi that's on not, the county that's position not she holds. True. That's not On the county true. position she holds that's in an executive absolutely committee. absolutely not Democrats true. Democrats and Republicans no, vote. No, no. Excuse me. Come on now. Have you ever been there? I don't need to go there because... Well, I wasn't there for two years. You are nominated and elected by Democrats you from know. your hometown. You, and, and she you won't live. leave. The progressives... You think she there. should stay? Well, it's up to the chairman. It's the no, 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 call. it's not. It's up to her. What would you do? I'd stay. You'd stay? I'd stay because I could still represent the Democrats really? in my district. Really? Yeah, because yeah, right. if, if I'm elected in my district... Okay, I got there's some Democrats that vote me in. Well, how about some Democrats, Democrats who would like to be okay. there? Well, then, and, and so so she is a so Republican now? Are there any Democrats kicking in the door asking to be yes. there? Yes, yes. Okay, then that's between Hillsborough yes. chairman. Take it up with the chairman. Why waste my time here? Not a matter of wasting time. No. As a I'm going to educate you something. You know, no, 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 we were talking about executive orders, and then you jumped into another something else. Oh, no, 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 okay. no. Let's finish with her first. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, she was a Democrat. She goes and she, she votes as a lady? Democrat. No, no, because this is important. Okay. She votes that night. The next day, she becomes a Republican. So now they're saying, do we have to re-vote the whole party? So we agree we're not going to. Mm -hmm. Then the elected officials put her into the executive committee. Okay. Now, she doesn't want to leave, and the Democrats are saying, we want to put a Democrat there. She says, I don't want to go. I'm staying. I hope she and we're going, stay. what are you doing that for? I hope she stays. Yeah. One other thing, and I did mention this to her. I think the Democrats would be honored to have her. Yeah. There. One other thing I want to mention, and she did say this, and this was an interview, because mm -hmm. she said, well, I am a Catholic, and the Republicans it. are. And I went to her, and I said, come on. That's not, you're a Catholic, and what you're saying is Democrats are, are irreligious. Many, many are atheists. Atheists. Many, many atheists. And she said, I just want people to know hey, this. Look around the room and how let many don't even put their hand on their heart. Let me say that. Look around the room how many don't let, even put their hand on their heart. Will you let me finish? For the National let Anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance. She said to me, I didn't mean it that way. I was being interviewed. This was on the fly. I didn't know. All right. I did mention I was a Catholic. And, and so that's the way it looks. Oh, yes. God I got no her. problem. So if anybody was offended because she said she was a Catholic. They'll get over it. And no, no, no. no. They'll get they over have it. to understand that she's, that's not what she meant. Right. Okay. okay. That's all right. 
So you're sticking up for them. I wanted to know why she said it. And she said, well, it was in you know, the heat atheists. of the moment. Your party has a lot of atheists in there. You're always fighting uh, Christians. You know, okay, I you really know. wish you would stop that. That's the truth. You know, so you, you, make the, you make read, the Republican read body. Read John Podesta's yeah. emails. And why is on it the that... Catholics. Oh. And how they, how they attack that. You know, New Mexico governor you, you, there. You, you know, What's his name there, the Democrat, how they attacked him on the uh, You know, Al, Podesta. a lot of people like you. I don't want to and be And a like lot you. of people love you. Okay. All there's right? no but There's okay. a lot that hate me, too. That's right. Because yeah. I speak out. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Freedom of speech, brother. But don't get religion and say that there's a lot of atheists as Democrats. There are. I see them all the time. You know something? That's just not fair I, and but it's, just but it's the truth. not I see them. true. Yeah, it is true. It's not true. We're, we're entitled to our own so opinion. So Democrats That's what's great about being are American. atheists. Ladies no, and no, gentlemen. Not all. This is, not the, this all. is where we are with the Republicans. Not all. Now they were in the presidency. Now the Democrats are atheists. See, he needs to clean his ears out because I said not all. Wake up. Okay? This is the problem with you liberals. You said you saw a lot. I did. Even in <clears> the state house. Yeah, I see them. That's, oh, no, no. At the state house. I see them when the prayer starts. They run right out to the, some of them run right out. Oh, give me a break. I see. Give I look me around. a Do me break. a favor the next time we Ladies do the pledge. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, the next time we do the pledge, stand in the back and look around. How many Democrats do you see? Don't even put their hand no, on the No, I see everyone doing it. You know something? You're a liar. For you to say Are that. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. Okay. You're damn right you're, you're a liar. Lucky I don't knock you off the chair. You're a liar. Yet. Okay. <laughs> You're a liar. You're lucky. You know? <laughs> you're trying to do it. Why I'm pushing you is you try, you try not to laugh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then you're not going to, oh, no. please, no, don't say that. It. No, it's true. Next time I'll take pictures and oh, I'll bring them. Take pictures. Ladies and I'll, gentlemen. I'll take pictures next time. So now we're irreligious and we don't salute the flag. And, and we don't pray. Oh, please. No, not all. Do you? Not all, but I'm you, saying. There, there was, uh, you, I, I was a Democrat for years. So you never, I know you how never held are. your hand up there? You never prayed because you were a Democrat? Do. I always do. I'm a Catholic, too. All right, okay, so there are no Republicans that, uh, that don't go like this? I, I haven't seen any Republicans. Oh, them, you know? but for the Republicans' eyes, you only see Democrats. No, 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 I see both. I was a Democrat. All right. All right. I know how you are behind the scenes. Why would someone not put their hand on their heart to right. pledge the flag? Tell you what I will do. Why would they not the bow their session, heads? The next session, stand in the back with me and I'll prove Excuse you. me, take pictures of it. I'll, I'll, I have never seen someone not do it. Okay. You know, right. that's, for, I'm gonna prove first to of all, respect towards I'm the flag. Prove it's, to all right, you. all right. Okay, okay I will so prove to you. This is what happens when the Republicans these get are in reasons and they why, got a president. These are now, reasons why I left the Democrat party. Now, now we don't salute the flag and we don't pray and we're atheists. A lot of you. You there know, we go. You, go. you also, many of you support them no. stepping on the flag or, or burning the flag. Even though it's freedom of speech, you all support that. Uh, Al, 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 the day you don't support it is the day you're not an American and believe you know, some, in the Constitution. I believe in freedom of speech. Okay. Okay, I understand the day that. You, but, the day you don't defend somebody for it, you may not like it, and I don't okay. like it. I, and I don't like it, mm -hmm. but I will defend the right for them to do okay. it. Okay. Now, I defend their right to do it as I did for 22 years. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I defended their right. Okay. Prepared to die for it. Right. Now, but I think the police, if you burn a flag and don't have a permit, then you should be charged. I think that's a, you want to know yep. something, ladies and gentlemen? I think that that's fair. Mm, yep. I think that that's fair. And I, I think if it, it burns and blows it, in the street, it, it, you should be charged for litter. Well, hey, okay, I'll go for that. Yeah. But you will give, you will fight to defend them oh, to yeah. let them do it. Oh, without a doubt, yeah, because right. I served my country yeah, under right. that flag. And that's what the Supreme Court, and you, and, the Supreme Court decision said that was freedom of speech. Okay, I don't like it. I don't I'll either. It. I don't like it either. No, I don't but like I speak it out against it. I don't like it either. But I do speak out against it. Oh, yeah. You know, not yeah. unlike the, uh, you know, liberals. No. That's not true. I don't Look, do at, look on TV. Oh, look on TV. Yeah, watch yeah, when they oh, burn yeah, the flag. Oh, yeah, burn all of them standing oh, yeah, around. The flag. And then all of a sudden, veterans show up and they grab it and take off with the flag there. I yeah, love it. And the, <laughs> the veterans come up and beat them up. 
They yeah. come up and beat up the tons of people. Some of us do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the freedom, I love this. The freedom <laughs> to do it. But we come up and beat them up a little <laughs> occasionally. He knows it won't do Oh, it. my God. Hey, anyway, exactly. I am so upset at her. A, not showing up. Hopefully she's oh, fine. Over, I am so sick of her get not over. giving up the, the seat on get the executive it. committee. Get over it. That is shameful. You know something? The Democrats in that Nashua. Is, she should not do that, that. That lady would not turn her back on anyone. She'd give the shirt off her back to help anybody. That's the type of Is everybody under the impression that the Republicans are doing a good job? Yeah, they are. You really yeah. are? Yeah, they are. Let me see. Uh, oh, by the way. Uh, I think there will be another, uh, you know, an, uh, Obamacare might be taken away and there's going to be another, another the vote. Yes, and, and do you know why, you know how they got the people to come over? How? Because now some of the states, if you wish to, you can, in your insurance within the state, if you wish to, you can not take care of people who have existing problems. Mm -hmm. That's Republicans? That's state, Republicans? It's a state issue. That's it, Republicans? Listen to me. It is a state issue. It, the federal government has no business being involved in it. Here in New Hampshire, we have pre-existed. We don't have, excuse we me. We have it here in New That's Hampshire. That's correct. We've always had it. The Republicans no, we part, have not yeah, we had have. No, we have yes, not. No, you know, we some, have not. The Republicans put it in look, back in the it, 70s it, 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 or the me. 80s. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, look, you talk about veterans. I'll talk about insurance. That's what I do okay. up there. I'm telling you, you're wrong then. If you do it, you're wrong. Uh, what is the wait excuse list? Excuse me. What is the wait list we keep putting money in for? What is it we've been doing it for the last 11 years? I've been up no, there. Are you that under, we've been putting more me, money into. Are you into. under the impression? What is the wait list? No, I know. Wait a minute. Are you under the impression that this bill is going to pass? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to assume. You know what assume means? I'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. Well. You know, you liberals it's assume. Not, it's not a matter of liberal. Yeah. Yeah. You know. No, you know something. <laughs> you know, these guys are so for the insurance companies. It, it makes me sick. The federal government. Sick. Has no business whatsoever the being in the states. federal government has no business letting drug companies do what they want, but yet they'll go to Canada, and Canada will, for the whole nation, show guess me what? where do that. in and, the Constitution. And, and, and so what? And so you want to know something, ladies and gentlemen? It was Bush who passed the law that you cannot go to Canada to get your prescriptions made, all right, half the cost, and guess what? Maine passed the bill that you can go to Canada. Okay. If he, you know, this guy's so smart there. That's why Donald Trump is having these pharmacy CEOs and everyone coming in on how they can renegotiate. Excuse me. Do this here. Excuse me. You haven't, yeah. He's you haven't having seen the, it? Yeah, the drug companies coming in. Gee, no. they're going to really do that. No, the pharmaceuticals, for uh, the better deals for American people. He's trying to do you got to get no, the drug no, companies. No, he has not. Yeah, he has. It wasn't in the last deal. You know, so I'm not even going to go research Why didn't he negotiate? You with it, with the, he says he's going to negotiate okay. with the drug companies. Show me where in the Constitution, the federal Constitution, does it say that the federal government is responsible for health care. Show me where. Or is it, or is it in New Hampshire Constitution? Under? Go ahead. No, no, I want no, you to I, tell I, me. I want you to I get, want, I want you you to get it out of your system. I'm just saying, show me where. Uh, tell me when companies can screw people so much, How they screw make them? so much money off mm -hmm. these people, yeah. and yeah. the prices can come down. And you are talking about, not in the Constitution, where in the Constitution it does it say that you cannot issue. negotiate as an entire it, country it for is. drugs? Where does it well, say you don't? I agree with you there. I'm not denying it. All right. I just told you Trump is bringing them together. Wake up and smell the coffee. Stop what are trying you talking to... about? It wasn't in the last one. You know something? I got something else up here before I go. I have to research and show you you're wrong again. All right, ladies and okay? gentlemen. I'm waiting to talk about executive orders. Something I just All right, learned. here we go, executive orders. I didn't know executive orders existed since George uh, Washington. <coughs> okay? What is an executive order and what can presidents such as Trump do you know, with them? Article 1, Section 7 gives guidance, in the, which I'm aware, in the Constitution, given the authority, okay, on executive orders, but for the process for legislation that the legislative, legislative branch had passed. This is where the liberals, you can't make laws like Obama did on immigration when we already have 
immigration laws. You can formulate rules under executive orders because the legislature well, gives it, you the authority. It, it's, it, when you talk about you know that, I think your man made an attempt to stop what? people coming in from this country and in such a way that two judges have stopped it two twice. Two liberal judges. Oh, there we go, liberal. Yeah. There it's we go, a, liberal but judges. But a judge in Boston, I was surprised, that said it was uh, constitutional. But they went outside down to California in Hawaii, some of the most liberal states in the country, to get the judge to make a decision. Give it a break. Oh, I see. Okay, so if, if, it, if it goes against you, it's bad. If it goes against us, it's Let's okay. Let's see what happens when it goes to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And you're going to be wrong. <laughs> and I bet you're going to be wrong. Well, I wonder. Gee, I wonder. Oh, wait a minute. They just got a, uh, what's his name? What's it? Yeah. Very uh, yeah, yeah. original. Yeah, very, yeah. Very good. Yeah, oh, yeah. That'll uh, break that. Yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, I understand there may be another uh, Supreme Court justice uh, retiring. Uh, looking. Which one? I don't know if it's Kennedy or uh, what's her name there. Um, what's the lady's name? I can't think of it. The one that spoke out like no other justice ever done. You know, the liberal there. Who paid a, Ruth Bader, is that her name? Ginsburg, yeah. Ginsburg. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But anyways, I heard oh, she may be Yeah, going. she will, she will, yeah. she will, yeah. So what that means, there'll be another judge we appoint. Well, you know what's interesting about that is I love is when a plan comes together. Uh, the, uh, Sununu said when he was the you know, chief of staff for, mm -hmm. for Reagan, uh, excuse me, uh, Bush one. We got a judge up here named Suda. You got to put him on the, right? Suda becomes a Supreme Court I justice well, and he's he went, liberal. Yeah, he went the other way. You ain't and you know something? He quits, right? Yeah. Which is a rarity. Which we were glad. Well, it's a rarity, all right? Right. But he is in, he's a circuit judge in Boston. He's still doing that. Yeah, well, good, good for Can him. Can you imagine why, yeah. why? Well, the guy's weird anyway. And I mean that in a nice way. I didn't know he was a circuit judge. Yeah. Boston. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He never stopped. Well, good for him. So what are they going to do? He's a you know, Supreme Court justice at one time. What are well, they going to say no? He can't be a judge in New Hampshire because of the Constitution says at 70 years old, you're done. What? Oh, here we go again. I got to educate you on New Hampshire Constitution. Oh, that's stupid. The do you think it's stupid? Is it, it's in our state constitution? You no, know, I don't know. I really never gave it no thought. Uh, excuse me, your president is 70. Think, Bush I know, is, uh, I know excuse people me, are 70 uh, years old that are very sharp, so I don't see why. Well, you've got a president who's 70 years old. I don't know why. I, I really it's the oldest president ever voted. But, but Trump. Our, but our fourth, it's been in the constitution. Um, I can probably. In the state constitution. State constitution, yeah. Well, that's really dumb. That's, mm. Come on. Now. you got you got the president know. of the United States is 70. Mm. Right. Okay, let's get rid of him. Yeah. So here's a, a what do you think Clinton. about? Who, Hillary Clinton. Who do you think? Who is Hillary Clinton? Uh, a sixty-nine. A a no, no, sixty-nine. Uh, yeah. Sure? yeah. I think she's old we'll, that. we'll see who the criminal is. Yeah, it's Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that's right. We'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, his taxes. Did we talk about his taxes already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure <laughs> did. How come most of the states in the country yeah. voted for Trump, except the West Coast, all the liberal states, the East Coast? the liberal states from New York on. But some of them Democrat states, Pennsylvania, uh, what else, Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin, they vote Democrat. Um, there was a bunch of other states. All went for Trump. How come? How come? You think they're tired well, of being taxed no, and I'll, I'll, and No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I, I, is, as time goes on, it it's, doesn't become easier why, but you can now see why. First of all, if I remember correctly, Congress had, what, a 16% of the people mm -hmm. said they were okay. Yeah. Well, it was bull, and everybody's had enough. My next-door neighbor, his name is Apostle Leaker, mm -hmm. nice person. He's voted for me all the time. He came out, and he said, I didn't vote for you. For you? He said, I didn't vote for you. He says, I, I, I've had it. I can't take any more, meaning he voted the other way. Yeah, he says, I, I can't do it. And he... He says, well, I hope you win, but I just got all the people know I've had it. And so people had it with both parties. Mm -hmm. And in comes a guy who but goes, didn't happen to the no, but in comes a guy who goes, oh, yeah, well, you're sleepy. Your father uh, uh, was part one of the persons who were involved with, you know, uh, assassination of Kennedy. 
really dumb stuff. You know, the and he gets away is, with it. You know, Sam, when you were in an election, there was, that was in a magazine. It wasn't dumb stuff. It was, it was put out in a magazine with pictures. Okay, that's where he got that information. So he was Where did he get up, the magazine? I don't remember the name of the magazine, but it was out in a magazine. Now, all he did was read from what was out there in a magazine that came out on uh, Who's His Father. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you know something, Al? Junk is coming out and being said. He's giving phony news all the time. Like what? Like the what? ships are headed towards North Korea. And they're, and they're going to Australia. What ships? Well, the Amada coming towards, you know. No, no. It and, never, and, and, you know me, some, and it's heading towards wait a Australia. Oh, wait, time out. Uh? That never came out of Trump's mouth. The news report. Excuse me. Never came out of it, Trump's it said mouth. Trump did it. Show me where Here on is, your phone. Show me where Trump said it. Show me where Trump said it. Well, what? Trump never ever tells. Never said. Never ever said where his ships are. Ex excuse what's me. Moving. He said the Armada is coming. Show me. Show me. He it. never said Armada is coming. I don't, I don't think he did, but show me. Well, it. no. Show did. me. He did not. Show me. Him. So he you didn't, told me too much he garbage. He didn't out even there. know where the ships were. Yeah, he knows where his ships no, are. No, it, it, yeah, he does. This they guy were, is such a, a they freaking were leaving. loser. The I news mean, were, really. This is where, where he has no clue what he's saying. The new CNN, Fox, and others were reporting they were leaving Australia, being redirected. They this hadn't was, reached Australia this, yet. This was from the news. They had not reached Australia. This was coming from the news. Either they were scheduled for a trip, a visit to Australia. I've been to Perth. I've been to no, Sydney. No, I don't care where you've been. I've been to Tasmania. Been. All right, I've been to Hudson, okay? New Hampshire. I've been on those Westpac cruises. All right, I, yeah, I, okay? I've been to, you have no, you have excuse, no clue. Excuse me, excuse me. The whole world's going. What the hell happened? He doesn't even know where his ships no. are. I mean, come on now, Al. How uh, can you? How, you're a soldier. No, no. See, how I, can you do that? Here I go again. I got to waste my time again and prove that you're wrong again. Then, I, then I'm wrong. You're wrong again. All right. Just say when when Trump said ships were headed towards going towards North Korea, they were headed towards Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, that happens to be the truth, of which I'll have time to talk. Right, go ahead and talk. Yeah, I can multitask. <laughs> you draw up more garbage, it's better. No, no, I don't know, that's true. Mm -hmm. so How do you, you think I, of the session? I just hey, don't, the I we just just don't understand. I just cannot understand why Republicans are, are sticking up for this guy who whose departments aren't even full. The West Wing is not even properly put together. You've got the Secretary of State going out with no help at all, making the dumbest statements. Somebody, like I what? mean. Like what? What is dumb to you? Tell me what's dumb to you. You just said something. Tell me what. North what? Korea okay. it would be a good one. Okay, tell me about We it. will take care of North Korea. Really? Yeah. What are they going to do to North Korea? I think we are. We know where all their missiles are. What sites are you going to do? We know where all there are. If he even no, you thinks, don't. Okay. They drive them around. Okay. They got drive around. And we're not watching them with the eyes in the sky. Wake up. You know, some. I can look. You want to look at my backyard? Do you really backyard? think you should do that? Do you want to look at my backyard? Yeah, I. Through the eyes in the everybody sky. Everybody knows Google. Okay. Google so world. wake up. Be on. Then don't don't think people so watching you think us you're gonna, are stupid. Do you think you're gonna go shoot them all down or hit them all? How about if you miss one? Then what? Twenty-five million over to South Korea. It's not gonna come to the United States. It's gonna go to South Korea. There you go. Okay. So so then there what? There you go. How about if you so miss what? something? Are you gonna you do? know something? You, do, you don't think that he's got some? Hit away someplace, nobody knows where it is, and if we attack him, he's going to go like this, and goodbye, South Korea. When I served in Desert Shield, um, Saddam shot off Scuds. Now, Scuds are Chinese versions, missiles, okay? They're sporadic. We shot them out of the sky. Not all of them. We shot them out of the Not sky. Not all of them. They hit. We hit the missiles, but they didn't hit where the head was on a couple of them, and the head came down because one landed... Less than a mile from my airfield. Yeah, it killed animals. Okay, yeah. So I'm, I've and been there, done that. You guys thought it was we, well, gas. Well, we knew there was chemicals in the uh, warhead. There had been late traces of chemical in there well, still. Well, chemicals we as... Don't know, not meaning chemicals, nuclear, it was biological nuclear, chemicals. Uh, yeah, know, biological whatever, yeah, chemicals. Yeah, biological, okay. Because you can tell when you see dead animals. 
You can tell when your NBC alarms are going off on your permanently secure of your borders, you know, of the airfield. So you know something's do you, up. Do you really honestly think that he's only been there less than a less than a day, uh, less less than a hundred days? So far, he has bombed an airport and did not take out the runway. Ah, uh, good. That's a good one. The next day, they're using it. Then, and I explained this last week or two weeks ago, the bomb they dropped has a killing feel of one round mile. Mm -hmm. The first nuclear okay. bomb that landed in China, excuse me, in Japan, had, guess what, one mile around killing feel. They're making their bombs without nuclear, okay, but what, they're as, they're as bad as what's what had fallen on on Japan. Okay. This is serious the stuff air, now. The aircraft carrier that the White House, uh, you know, said it was headed to north, okay, I put that in. It says, remember, the U.S. aircraft carrier sent the scare, North Korea, last week. The Carl Vincent carrier group is finally heading to North Korea, Amanda says. The one who put it out is the Secretary of Defense. What we call that fog of war? Hey, he hey, has no clue. Hey, Siri. Okay. It's um, called fog of war. Did Donald Trump tell the truth when he said that the na aircraft carrier was fleet. coming towards North Korea? It says the U.S. Korea. fleet Trump supposedly Hold sent to second. North Korea. I didn't get nothing out of this. Thing. Yeah, because there's nothing. It's it's the news okay, and so also his he, secretary of quiet uh, for defense. A minute. He's printing everything. Right. Hold I on. I found an article about Donald Trump. Shall I read it to you? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Donald John Trump on June 14, 1946. Is the 45th and current president. Oh, God, I'm going to shut this down. Dude. I don't In other words, there's nothing, there. there's nothing there. There's nothing there that it came out of Trump's mouth. It came out of the Secretary of Defense's the... mouth. Excuse me, he said. Oh, yeah. The Wharton School? He went to the Wharton School? The Wharton School? He went to the Wharton School? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he took courses. He didn't graduate from the Wharton School. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. You want to bet? I'm not betting. That's what he's been saying. I'm not betting. All right. Okay. okay, you know it all. What You're happened? Right. All right, uh, that's it. We've complained okay. about everything. You were wrong on what it came out of the Secretary of Defense's mouth. Now, as a, as came a, out of the Secretary as a Defense veteran, as a military man, as a retired Marine, we have what you call uh, on Sun Tzu. I read the book there years ago. Sun Tzu. It's called F a Fog of War. The Act of War. And you the keep the war. enemy confused. If we say we got ships going over there, they could be sitting at the port. Excuse me. But the enemy thinks. I, I, ex excuse me. Excuse me. What? Go ahead. You don't hide an armada of ships without somebody not knowing not knowing where it is. You know some. Look, the Chinese. Right. Everybody has eyes in the sky. There were no battleships around, and they're saying there was. That's not the art of war. General Gidge. Yes, thank you. He got it. He knows it all. Thank you, General Gidge. That's right. You have no clue All whatsoever. right, so I have a good idea. What happened yesterday? We're at the State House yesterday, and... Well, well, you took off and went to lunch, and we were all over recess waiting for the vote. No, you weren't. I took off, took off for lunch. I was yeah. there. What no, you, you weren't. You left. You told me you went to lunch. What are you talking about? You were smoking, you and I stood in... You told me you went to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I went out and smoked the quick cigarette. Yeah, back. you got a quick cigarette. <laughs> they took, anyways, my, took everything away. What happened What is, happened? We had... Um, about, uh, I don't know, uh, 15 bills there, and then we have the consent calendar. There was one bill, okay, that, that dealt with the, um, let me find the bill here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain this. Uh, this is kind of the, the switch over. It's kind of right, right now we're doing a lot of kind of important things, but we're waiting more now for the... Uh, the Senate to send stuff. In other words, we send stuff to the Senate. They send it back to us. They like it or not. That we, if they agree, we agree. It goes back and forth. Well, this hasn't really started. There was there's a, there was a House bill. I can't find it yet, but there was a House bill that dealt with um, every time there's election. In order for the election to go forward, I mean to be, we have to certify that election. The Secretary of State normally does it, but because many cities and towns, or sit, towns more. Um, changed their election day, and they didn't have the authority to do that because we're not a home rule state. They made the decision because of the snowstorm to move it, like my town, 
moved it from Tuesday to the following Tuesday. It was illegal what they did. So now, the Secretary of State, in, accord, in accordance with the law of the land, refused to certify the elections. Now, to fix the problem, the House had to come up with a uh, certification bill authorizing this here. And, and the Secretary of State Senate, wanted right. it also. The Senate actually yeah. was the one that came up with it, put yeah. it on an HB, a House bill, sent it to Why us. Why did they do that? They voted on it. It came to us uh. because they, the bonding. The cities and towns that voted uh, late were not going to get the bonds that they passed because it wasn't certified. The people that loaned the money yeah, were I, not. Yeah, go ahead. So what happened is the HB passed the Senate. They sent it to the House. We requested a committee of conference. During while we were voting, the Speaker called out four or five names, two Democrats, three Republicans. I think it was to go sit on the committee of conference with uh, three senators. That went on. As we're getting to run done with the legislation, we're waiting for it to come back. It didn't come back yet because it had to go back to the Senate after they authorized. They came to a you know, uh, conclusion. They agreed on something. Um, it went back into the Senate to vote for it. They agreed that they supported the committee of conference that signed off. Then it came to the House. We're in recess waiting for this to come back. So then it came into the House. We all went back in and we voted for it. So that what that meant, we're sending a bill to the governor to certify the elections in the state. And that's what it was about. It seemed like it was a cluster, but it was a process because certain cities no, and towns I, 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 no, went I, against I, the law. I, I understand that. And I can understand why some of them made that decision because yes, of the snowstorm. I, can too. I, can I mean, too. it's against the law what they did. No. But I, it was I, a I, lesson learned from New Hampshire because we should have something to fall back on with snowstorms. I, well, I think you're right, but I think uh, there, it's a, there's, a, there's a great problem when, you, when you're doing national elections. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, you yeah, can't kind of do that. Yeah, no, national, but this was All a right. local election. Okay, so, yeah. and I think the Secretary of State wanted this right. bill to come yeah. also. He yeah, I did think not, in a not want to do it. I think in a national election, uh, rain, can't, can't it's going it. to go. No, you can't yeah, it's going to go. You need, yeah, you because need then you can comply with federal law and the national. Has this year gone by fast? Yeah, it has been. Why? It, huh? I don't know. I think things are going smooth. I think we had some a temporary setback on the budget. Uh, we had one group. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's the only flaw yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we had three separate groups in the House. We had, which I voted for the budget, the group uh, with the caucus, a uh, majority of my caucus supported the budget. I wanted the budget to go to the Senate. I didn't like the spending in the budget, but I wanted to move it to the Senate and let them do their thing. You had a group of Republicans that did not want more spending, and they stood their ground and said, no, I'm not voting for it. You had the Democrats that stood their ground. They wanted more spending. That's, okay? that's not Here true. There it is. No. Yes, it is. Read no, the no, amendment. It's not more true. Read no, the amendment on the, what they did. No. One more, it's more. You didn't have an amendment with more spending. Is this? Is you didn't have an amendment with more spending? Don't you? Don't you? Did you me. have an amendment with Excuse more me. spending? I'll sue you. I swear Answer to God. Answer my question. Did the Democrats have an amendment with more spending? No, not really. Not all the right, truth. okay, all right, okay, not okay. The Hold truth. on a second. Hold on a second. It's very complicated to I explain have the, that. I have the amendment in my car. Yeah. Well, we're not going to break, it. so you can run in. Yeah, but I got it in my car. The amendment. Okay. But hey, I, this is the first time I've been there, and I've, you know, five terms. I've never seen it where we didn't vote on it. It went to the Senate. This is awful. What are you talking about? The Democrats oh, yeah. didn't do their job. Yeah. Republicans did not do their job. Right. Both, I think I blame them both. Both right? Republicans yeah. and Democrats did not do their work. But the thing is, I'm, And you know something? And you know something? You would have done, you would have worked. Yeah. I would have worked. But right. guess what? But you want to know some? Would they come to us? I'm proud of those Republicans who are standing up for what oh, they believe in. Oh, you're proud of them, Republicans. Because they want, we, a lot of us run, we want smaller government. We want less spending. We want people to spend their own money. We, want, we don't want to screw with people's quality of life. Okay? The more money you take out of people, this is why I left the Democrat Party. Oh, the more Al, money you tax and spend. Stop using that. You signed. You I you left the went Democrat for Party. the bill. The bill should have passed both Republicans and Democrats, and it should have gone in because no matter what happens, you know when something? it gets into the Senate. I agree with the process. 
I agree that you had the, all the Democrats Why can't you get your Republicans five, together? All the Why can't you get your Republicans all together? All the Democrats except five voted against the budget. Five Democrats voted with us. I know, us. but why can't you get your Republicans together? Because there's a large group of 62 Republicans. They can't get their act together. That, no, not that they can't get their act yeah, together. No. They were conservatives. They stood their ground Good. and said, I cannot and how vote much for money spending. is it costing us because nothing. of this? Oh, nothing? Nothing. It won't come back to us? Yeah, it's got to, it always is. It will come changes to it again? We, even if we passed it, yeah, it's going to come late, back to late, us. That's Ken, right. Late, ladies and there? gentlemen, there's your Republican Party again. Even if we, no, yeah, it's a, but you just drew out garbage. Because even if we pass Would the budget, it still goes to the yes, Senate. I know, I know. It goes and then to it the comes Senate. back it again comes to us. Back again. And that's why it's. Why like, can't you be honest with people? Know, well, excuse me. Why? I'm letting you, I'm letting you, you're on a roll. No, I'm, I'm on a roll. You, I'm letting you Because I'm on a roll with facts. <laughs> oh, yeah, not. With facts. Tell me where I'm wrong. <sighs> Tell me where I'm wrong. What is wrong with the process was, is when you have a party, Republican and Democrat, you guys got to get together. And you guys didn't. And this is the reason why we, as a Republican and a Democrat, should be ashamed of you know our some? parties for not doing something. I respect my caucus. The majority just wanted this to go to the Senate because of our deadlines that we have. But I also respect those other conservatives, which I used to be the chair. Not, yeah, uh, I used to be the chair no, of the House Republican Alliance. No, I know that. But these okay? guys were just right, and ladies were and, right off the deep and end. On the last budget, my first two, bu I voted against the Democrats' budget the first two years because of $900 million spending. Both budgets here, my first four years in the minority, was over 10%, 16%. But one was 10%, then 16% spending. I vote against them. You know, I vote against the Republican budget it, it, last year. Excuse me. Did it, you know that? Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the person who said, and by the way, he's the person who said he has never voted for an increase in taxes. Is this correct? That's correct. So, but he can't tell me how much money it takes to run a state. So, no taxes? I can tell you. I just got to look at the, you know, lean budget. You know what I mean? And see, yeah. I'm a true believer in people that are, uh, you know, that need, you know, special needs, uh, wheelchair, you know, they can't work. We take care of them. But the problem we have in New Hampshire. Well, these, these we Republicans did abuse. not want to do that. We have, no, that's not true. That, no, that's not true. No, they no. never went after mental me health. Ask a question. You know some. We stuck more it, money in mental health. It, we stuck more money in the yeah. drug program. I love it when they say they put more money in men, my, mental health. You're right. They did. But guess what? They took it all out before, and if it was there, we wouldn't be in so much of a problem. Now they put it back, and they go, hey, we're putting more money in to make you look good. You, you want to know what? Good. Let me tell you how this system works with the Democrats. They use Common Core math. The budget may be at, let's say, $100 million. I'm going to use some numbers. Health and Human Services must say they want $50 million more. The Republicans say, no, we're going to give you $10 million more. They say they got a $40 million cut. The Republicans are bad because we gave them $10 million versus $50 million more. We're bad, bad people. That's the common core the, math the they The problem use. Is, is that if you do the math that common way, core math. it sounds really good. But when you take a look it's at the truth. some agencies at times like what? need more I will money bring the budget up, than other me. agencies. I will bring up the budget. You tell me what agency. All right. What agency Lady, do I'm we not cut? talking to you no, anymore. No. I'm, not well, I'm talking bring to the budget. number one camera. Hey, it's right there. What number agency, two, I'm not supposed to look at it anymore. What agency do we see, cut? I look at three. That won't hey, see me. What I'm agency right. do we I'm cut? Not, you just I'm brought not, something up. You know, you know something, I'm not going to let you do this. You know something? I'm not going to let you do this. He's right. They did put more money in, but the problem is that they had taken it all out. How? Yeah, what do you mean how? how? Yeah, how? What do you mean how? Show me how. Uh, Show me how. Tell me where. So you got to go back, what, four years? No. Excuse me, I don't have four years of knowledge. Yeah, but I got it right here. You got it right there. I can bring up the budget. Oh, God, that's right here. I all can right. bring up the budget. Let's, look, this is so complex. If You, you take, just lied and, and get caught again. Let, 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 you lied and got caught again. I love it. Okay? When you see I a smile not... on his face, don't believe him. You just He's lied. Smiling. No, I, I caught you in another lie. You want to know something, ladies and gentlemen? He 
takes taxes away from <coughs> you. Cigarettes, 10 cents a pack, 5 cents a pack. You want to know why I did that? They I, lose $40 million. And we gained $87 million yeah, in the surplus. Because, oh, because people came into New Hampshire and bought more cigarettes. That's not true. Okay? The very day, this is the fact, the very day that that went in, this is factual, the, the 10 cents, okay, the 10 cents off, right? is when the very day is when the cigarette company added 10 cents. We got nothing. Okay. Now, take a look at your electric bill and look under the money that you're, you're paying maybe 30-something cents or 20-something cents somewhere around for the Reggie. Okay? Regional Green has gas initiative that they put in. Take a look at your oil, fuel, oil, heat, and look at the taxes that are in stuck into that there. They tax your fuel, uh, your fuel okay, uh, for the heat your home. Who pays there? If you got deep pockets, you don't care. But the working people have to pay. It, 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 Pennies, it, it, nickels, and dimes it, it, add up you, the door. You know, you know, that's an interesting way of putting it. I, I just told the that, truth. What we're doing is we're charging oil, right? No. What it is is that the people who sell the oil mm -hmm. and make a profit, right. they're taxed. So okay. now you're turning around and saying, we're taxing oil. Okay, listen. No, we're not. The, and by, the and, oil company and is by, taxed. And by who the, pays and, the tax and here? By, Are you that stupid? And by the way, the taxes. if you took all the taxes away from oil, we'll use oil as an example. Mm -hmm. yep. How much would that be? I don't know. Well, you're yeah. saying that, that we put all these, how much taxes do we are, are on there? I don't know. There's like, what's the gas tax is? Like a buck something in the gas tax, a uh, buck 78 or something like that in the gas tax that the state takes. And there's federal tax that the federal yeah, I know, I know, takes. I know. Okay. You know, well, you know what I was all thinking? All I'm saying is, you know what I was thinking don't change the, the subject there because no, you know you're wrong. No, no, you know what I was thinking yeah, the other day? There we go, he's wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, I'm in commerce with banking and insurance, so we hear these things. We pay 35% tax. That's too much money. Well, we can go to Ireland and pay only 17%. And I go... I never heard of it. Yeah, that. well, I go and I go... That's where a lot of people now right. are going, okay. Right. And I'm going, excuse me, Ireland, 17%? They have nothing. That's their money. They have no infrastructure. So I, you know what I say to that? Okay. And, I, and I'm an Apple. Apple, you're right. They, they're, you know, keeping a lot of money out of the country. Your point. This is what What's I say. Point? Apple or anyone, if you're in trouble and you're giving your tax money to Ireland, okay, because it's, it, it's easy and safer, and guess what? You're going to keep, you, you don't have to give this government so much money. If you get into trouble, don't ask the United States to come with battleships and armies to protect you. Oh, wait a minute. Because that's why we're so expensive because we have the largest military we have the largest of many 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 things we have an infrastructure that takes care of a lot of stuff you know and you can never be 17 percent i've been all over the world in my time i mean europe middle east i mean i've been everywhere in my time in the marine corps and your point my point is there are countries out there, people in those countries that want American dead. We have to have a strong military. They want to kill Americans, whether you realize it or not. They want Americans no, dead. No, no, that, but that's not... So What are you talking so about? What I'm saying is... What are you talking about? By the money that we're paying in taxes, our police, our fire, our military... These are services provided to protect. Yeah, no, no, this is not but what we're talking about. But you just said about. about the money. Where the money going? That we're taxing and taxing, and then Ireland, you know, has no no infrastructure. But Ireland has a military. We do train with Ireland. It, okay, we do train it, with excuse Norway. Excuse me. It, we do train me. with Belgium. If a corporation to save money, mm -hmm. op says that Ireland is, is where. Where their corporation where their is. Corporation right. is. But Trump is stopping that. And they only pay 16 right. or 17 percent. Right. They're not, our infrastructure is larger and it will never be 25 percent. Right. But Trump is trying to bring it that money. It may go down to 30. Trump is trying That's to bring it. that trillion dollars back into our country by trying to cut a deal with the legislator to give some type of where they'll pay a less of interest to bring that money back into our country. I think they should. I, yeah. And I think I'm glad for Trump he's pushing it.
Finally. Well, everybody was pushing no, that. But they didn't. Yeah, nobody everybody done nothing. was pushing No, that. no, Bush, uh, you know, Bush, I, Clinton. I, I, no, that's I, BS. Oh, excuse me. The Demo the de you know wait, something? Did you hear me? The I said Democrats Bush. Democrats never knew about that. Oh, wait they a minute. They did nothing Hold in eight on years, on Obama. And when nothing. they attempted to do something, guess what happened, ladies and gentlemen? What happened? Guess what happened? What happened? Republicans said, no, what happened? you can't oh, do you, that. You know something? The Republicans have not been in charge of ladies the House. Ladies and in gentlemen, the, in the, in the would you all like the time? to talk about what's, you, that, what's that country? Do you realize people are smarter to, than you think? Yeah, well, I hope People, that. people are smarter than you yes, think. Yes, I know. And they see right they through your me. BS. <laughs> they see right through your BS. Right. All right. You throw more garbage. I know. I know. They're just an awful person. Did you, what didn't you hear that I said Bush, Clinton? I said Republican, Democrat. Yeah. I brought up Bush's name. I, Obama. None of them done anything. Anything. Nothing to bring that money back. Yeah. Clinton signed NAFTA. Okay? We lost all them companies. What were 70,000 factories? Yeah, well, 70,000 uh, factories throughout the country? <clears throat> in it, other countries? Yes, I know. I know. I know. And the, the awful thing is, is that you're right. You're right. But. Oh, well, but. Here's no, the but. No. No, 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 no. But if we didn't, you would not have this computer for $1,000. It would be $5,000. I would not have this coat. I'd rather buy one. You know, America made. I would not have this coat for one hundred and twenty-five dollars. It would be five hundred. Who, who dresses we you anyway? We have two minutes. I who dresses you anyways? <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. I know. You. I know. I know. Two minutes. Come on. How can I get? To? No. This hasn't been bad. We haven't killed no, each other. I haven't. Yeah, I didn't. That's smack right. You a pistol whip you nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, hey, very easy to get in touch with me. You know, I'm on Lincoln, Facebook. You can write me. I mean, go to the state webpage. Uh, or you can go to www.albaldasau.com. There's a section there. Send me a message. I want people to come here and sit. My phone we number do. We do. We do. Four two five six nine nine seven. I live at forty one Hall Road, Londonderry. I want people to know where you, I live. You know, my I'd, I'd love to get a by. bus one day and go. I over wish you there. would. I've had parties at my house with constituents, almost two hundred people, and legislators at my house answering their questions. Yes, and, and I've been vi invited to one of those. But I gave him the wrong date. <laughs> no. How do they get in touch with the Gids World? Con All right, artist? it's real simple. It's He's not, an it, artist. It's, a not, con it's artist. not comp the con artist. You can go to gidsworld.com. And by the way, we're ready to bring out the uh, Jackson Pollock silk screen we have, ladies and gentlemen. The only one of its type in the world. So this may be put Nash were kind of on on, uh, on the map for art. Uh, you can get me, you know, through. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere. I'm You're everywhere. I'm his only friend. Right? No. Right? Well, well, Trump's I, I, doing I a hell of a job, ain't he? No, he's I'll not. Tell you, I'm, he's terrible. It's unbelievable the compliments, the tweets that are going out from people. Yeah, it's really. The Democrats or Trump are loud. They're getting louder and louder. They want to support Trump. It's been unbelievable. Yeah, like check uh, me out on Twitter. See, wait, read some wait, of my wait, Twitters. Wait a minute, it's like uh, O'Reilly. Yeah, he's another Trump guy. Do a Google right. search. Al Baldassar on Twitter. Look at some of my Twitters that I put out, and then question it whether it's integrity or not or fake news like him. Fake news. Fake news. That's you. How many seconds? Mister Fake have News. We How got many, eight uh, seconds eight left. Eight seconds. Go Trump. All right. Remember, this type of TV is the only of its type. Of, anyway, goodbye. Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content.
The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.